Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are here with episode 173 of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. In the previous episode, we finished up in Argamvund, Ar Angarvund, and uh, we found the treasure there, which is basically a word wall. I mean, it's nothing truly unique, but it is what it is. Um, obviously, with the... Uh, what's she called? The woman who we were in with end up tricking herself and walking right into a trap and uh, getting crushed, which was a lovely send off, if, you do, if I do say so myself. It's the... What the hell is going on? I don't know. What are you doing, Steve? Come on. Uh, we then came over to Frost Fro Frost Flow Lighthouse. Have we been this way? Am I going backwards? I'm going backwards. That's why there's no one around it. I'm dying, Michael. <laughs> um, so, I've lost what I was going to say then. Yeah, so we came over here to Frostflow Lighthouse where we basically found a family that had been murdered, seemingly by these um, Falma and. Uh, what do we call it? The. Chorus's. And we're clearing the place out. Steve, did you just seriously already? God damn it. Alright. Uh, so I've had a bit of a look up. Where we're going to go after this is to Ironbind Barrow. That's going to be the next location. Uh, we don't have much a lot, much more to this. Um, let's go take care of this dude over here. Uh, I'm aware there's a, there's a couple of uh, journals that I missed upstairs. So we'll grab them when we go back up. Uh, I think there's one for all members of the family. So I just need to make sure we grab those before we leave them behind. Other than that, should be all good. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, 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 what? What? What is this? We could be more well behaved. I thank you very much. Okay. I'm just dropping off here. I mean, looks like it. Right, where did Steve go? Come on. We've got a job to do. Hey, ow! This thing is some shit. Come on, give me the one, two. There we go. You didn't need that soul, did you? Don't mind me just borrowing it for a while. Thank you very much. So kind. Alright, let's just grab those. Uh, hope you're dealing with something. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okie doke. Let's grab all that useless crap for me to sell off. Lovely and jubbly. Gotta be close to the end now, haven't we? Surely. Oh, it's just going to go on forever. Probably the latter. Yeah, yeah. Shut your pie hole. Okay. We'll take all your eggs. And use them for our chemical purposes because this is what they were made for let's be honest uh, okay we have literally just destroyed a <laughs> the population in this area that's fine you didn't need these eggs anyway okay Wow, are you serious? Right, are we... No, we're still nowhere near the end. How? How can... This... Come on, Steve. Get your act together. Okay, okay. Ooh, you really took me head off then, you little bastard. Oh. Why do you have gold? 
do. Oh, okay, you go deal with that. Excuse me. Do you ma- what? You play the sneak on me? There you go. I'm nearly at level 58. Oh, hang on. Need some healing. They seriously never, like, find, like, if they go into the basement and find this entire bloody area just filled with bloody Chorus. They just thought, like, hmm, this isn't at all an issue. Maybe we should move away. Whatever. Why was there a torch? There? See, they must have. I don't think a torch is decided to pick up a torch and just be like, well, you know, just brightens the place up. I mean, they could have done. I'm not judging, but... Oh, I it's still here, the bloody... Oh, my God. Oh, great, and... <laughs> oh, they've, they're picking on my OCD nature and realising that because I've started getting all these now, I need to finish them. Uh, we're in the final room at last, though, so there's that little uh, silver lining. Steve, you've got an entire like, army on your ass. I'd deal with that if I, if I were you. There you go. Oh dear. That was close. It's no good. But sit down. Right. I don't like I don't like the fact that come up music is still going on. Which means I feel like we're gonna have like a big boss or something down here. Nope. It's expired. Either it lost me or it was just a glitch on the game's behalf and we are actually done around here. I don't know. Alright, you know what? Screw it. Not coming back here anyway, and let's have a look at how many he actually picked up. 225, yeah, I feel like there's a limit. Uh, probably could, with how big our inventory is and the fact that I, I'm quite good at keeping on top of it, but. Yeah, oh, oh my word. What the shit is that? And I missed. What the? No. No, please don't. Please. Oh, god damn it. Right, I will see you guys in just a moment. Alrighty, let's try again. Okay, well. Uh. Oh, the. Uh. Thanks, Steve. I was <laughs> trying to solve early with my life. Find the source of the medicine for us for lightheads. Okay, so got. Ooh. Have remains. Lovely. Hmm. Alright. Now, uh, I believe that's it. So we could leave if we wanted to, but uh, if you remember, it did say in the journal that um, we wanted to put Hab's remains in the lighthouse fire, which we can actually do. So we'll uh, do that before we leave. Let's just grab some of these mushrooms. Alright, um, I also got a level up on what I was doing for the second time um, for uh, two-handed. So, uh, let's have a look. Let's put some into health. Uh, let's see, let's put some more to two-handed. Um, let's just have a look. Paratus, 25% less. Battle axes. Cause extra bleeding damage. Um, I don't know why it's coming off to the. the PS. my controls acting off on me. Okay. 
Seriously? I don't know what is going what what is going on? It's moving on its own. Right, sure, I'll just grab that. Oh controller goes into meltdown. I don't know what just happened. I've been doing this in all sorts of games. Just, but just shimmering on its own to the right hand side. I don't know why. It's like the controls having a fully it's a new control so it better not be broken. I only got this a couple of weeks ago. I'm gonna be annoyed if it is. Alright, let's just do our best, see what I can uh, do on my own. I can uh, sort it out. Right, please tell me we're done with this place now. I just want to leave. I'm done. It's going on way too long. Dungeon Quest should be short. Well, especially the miscellaneous ones. No, you're not going to give me a quest marker for it. Oh my god, I can't, I can't press it because it, it shifts to the right. Screw you, I don't care. I mean, I do care. So just tried for ages just to try and but didn't get it, but never mind. Alright, yep, that's what we've done. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, okay, this way it looks. Alright, back to the lighthouse. I believe both of uh, the other journals should be in that main room where we got like the book and all that. I don't know why we didn't get it, but hey ho. Um, this was in here and I missed it. I don't think so. So I can't get onto anything because I keep shifting to the right and I don't know why. But it's peeing me off. But did we. Oh, we didn't look in here. Hello. Oh, for goodness sake, come on. Alright. No, it's not in there. Okay, well... Pretty useless. But fine by me. Alright. Head back upstairs. Ow. Um. Let's check something here. Right, so I th think it's in one of these rooms. Yeah, there we are. So it's Sudi's journal. I hate it here. Why did we have to move to Skyrim anyway? I miss the big port cities. There was always something to do and new people round. Or even being cabin girl on one of those ships we used to sail on would be better than this. Manny says we should run away, but I can't leave mother and father alone out here. Or what to do. We've been here for two months now and there is nothing to do. From the top of the lighthouse we can see all the way to the, to the College of Winterhold. My father says that magic is for danger worshippers. The only interesting thing to have happened lately is that mother snapped at us at dinner and accused us of stealing things out of the cellar. I did hear scratching down there the other night, but I thought it was just father cleaning fish. I caught money in the cellar a couple of days ago, going, going through some barrels and crates. At first I thought it was him all along making those scratches to play a trick on me, but I heard them again last night and money was in bed. Father finally said he would go get some traps and poison from town in case it's skeevers. I'm really scared. It doesn't sound like skeevers to me. Money won't listen. He thinks I'm just making up the noises and keeps sneaking into the cellar. Oh, why is he so stupid sometimes? I don't know why he keeps going down there, but I found the cellar key and copied and hid it in Mother's favourite keepsake so he wouldn't find it. The scratching is getting louder. E, well, I don't know what to tell you. He's kind of dead now, so I don't think it matters much. That does not what I wanted, I think, anyway. No, I don't want the Legend of Red Eagle. I want the gem, but of course the... I don't know. I want the Amethyst, but the... I don't know why I keep scrolling to the side. What are you doing? Oh my word. It's just it's trying to stop me from... No, oh my god. Literally. Not moving anything at all. Thank you. Right, just try and go as much 
stuff as we can. Okay, I found it. Um, it's in the same room as we found uh, the girl's journal. It's in a knapsack that I must have gone over. Uh, look at all this crap. Uh, just grab all these. And the letter from Manny. Okay, I wanted to read it, but that's fine. Sudi, I know you've been making up that stuff about theories in the basement to try and get me to stay, but I'm only waiting until my father gets home so you and mother are safe. You could always come meet up with me before I head back to Hammerfell. Take care of yourself, little sister, Manny. Okay, there we go. Now we've finally got everything. Now we can head on up to the to the roof and place Hab's remains, just as he would want us to do. Of course. And of course where the, uh, that uh, master chest, well, not master chest, it's a locked chest, was stored. So, yeah. Very good. Um, let's place it. That should give us, yep, Sailor's Repose. Uh, first of all, let's just have a look in here. Yep. Uh, Sailor's Repose. Sailor's Repose. That's an active effect. Uh, Sailor's Repose. Healing spells cure 10% more. Uh, it's not amazing, but it's fine nonetheless. I'm not going to complain. But that is that done and dusted. It's pretty freaking cool. Alright, let's head out of here. I'm done with this place. It went on far too long. And let me just put across through you, Mr. Frostflow Lighthouse. Thank you and good night. So next we are heading to Ironbind Barrow, which is across not too far away from here to be honest. Uh, if we head to where are you? Night Gate Inn. It's pretty much just north from there. Uh, I don't think this I think this is just another general area. There aren't any dragon priests here. Yeah, it's this place over here. So why was So it was right here. Where did I get taken to? I'm oh I bet you took me to Brown's Water Cave, didn't it? And I selected an navigate in and then the mark will just kinda of like psych with moving you over to the right. So you're gonna end up forced fast on to the wrong place. I'll see that one um when I'm in editing, if it did do that. For goodness sake, I'm going to have to mess around with this, because it's annoying. I didn't sign up for it. There we go, Ironbound Barrel. We should be inside loading up on treasure. Worry scares here, thinks we should wait though. Don't get any ideas either. We were here first. What did you expect to find there? But what do you expect to find inside? Gold, silver, gems maybe? Only one way to find out. What's going on? I don't care what Beam says. It's high time we get in there and find our fortune. I don't know about you, but I'm going in there. Not without us, you aren't. I'm sure there's enough for everyone after all. Come on, Beam Ja. We're going. Alright. You can't shake us off that easily. Okay, that was that was quick. Right, let's head on in. Go find some treasures and stuff. Uh, no objectives or anything. Okay, hello. Oh, Jesus. That's not pretty. Alright. Just keep grieving. Yeah, I do believe that these guys can't die, so they're actually pretty good to have with us for this section anyway. Uh, they will literally just go into a place, clear it out, and move into the next one. I do think they uh, they wait for you though. So if they like clear a room and you're still behind, they'll uh, help you out. Well, they'll wait for you. Oh, come on! Jeez, clearly not the first. Damn it, Steve! 
Honestly, if I could keep you for more than three freaking seconds, that would be just great, you know. Always disappearing everywhere. Well, oh, hello. Don't this look fancy? Let's clear the place out first, then we'll gather our loot. I'm going to go on you two. I'll catch up. Well, you're just going to wait. Oh, never mind. I was going to get it as a thumbnail, but... Hmm, maybe some better will come along. I don't know. Okay. Hmm, right, well that's blocked off, so... We have to find an alternate route. Oh, pull the handle. That's also good. Uh, okay. Let's do that. Hmm. Looks like a trap door to me. No? Never mind. Oh, the tough guys are coming in now. That's great. <laughs> that's Steve, let's not attack Steve. Wait. Whoa. Okay, now that everyone's still alive with no deaths on our end, with a cheeky little quick save to boot, let's finish this place. It's actually not that big an area, this one. Um, so don't think this is just one interior zone. I'm surprised we don't have like a miss. Wow. Miscellaneous objective or anything. I thought we got one, but apparently not. Right. Controller for doing the work for me, shifting it to the, to the right, let me uh, need to tell it to. Rather, well, you didn't, but what you gonna do? Wait, we ready? Could be anywhere. Well said. Okay. They're non in. Is she seriously punching? Hey, whoa, whoa. Okay, first of all, uh, but no. Ooh, that said it's nasty. Uh, okay. Wait, what? Why did they- oh, for feck's sake. Everyone keeps bloody dying. I got told that these guys can't be killed, and yet they always seem to be killed, and then the other dude turns on me for some reason. I don't know why. Definitely wasn't me. But no one near them when it happens. Alright. Still have a minor alteration. You ready? I think so. Alright, let's head on in. Let's get this place finished. This is it. The gathering awaits us. What are you on about? Right, hang on. I need a thumbnail, so let's just take one and move on. Let's just get the treasure here and go. 
control, if we could not just shift me to the right without my... <laughs> oh my god. Why? This has been such a crap episode, hasn't it? I could have to spend so much time editing this. Alright. Oh, this guy's a bit tall. Uh. Oh. Hello, Sailor. Oh, I'm gonna. Not exactly what I'd say. You should be taking your priority right now, Steve. A little skeleton compared to a big freaking warlord that's attacking us. You know, just my personal opinion. But hey, oh. Let's just do a drive-by pick-up of the show. Alright, let's uh, get this one done. Right, the last one have become um, ethereal, which is cool. Right, where'd he go? Where's the last? What's she doing all the way over there? Uh, okay. Whatever. I should thank you. I knew the girl wouldn't be strong enough to help me kill Gathric alone. There's just one more thing I need from you. To fully absorb Gathric's power, I require a blood sacrifice. Your blood should be good enough. This will go easier for us both if you don't bother fighting back. Are you kidding me? Who the hell are you? What a bastard. You don't want to help with the whole stereotype of never trusting an Argonian thing, do you? Okay. Let's to Beam Jar. Beam Jar, keep my daughter safe and you'll earn both your freedom and that damn book kit you want so badly. But by the divines, if any harm comes to her, I'll make sure everyone I do business with will hear about what you did in Black Marsh. Okay. Sure. There's meant to be a unique act, I'm hoping it comes up. Father never trusted Beam. I always thought he was just being overprotective. What will you do now? Beamja has looked after me since I was knee high to him. I need to rest, and then I think I'm going back to High Rock. Go on without me. I think I need to be alone for a while. Okay. Don't you want your treasure, riches and all that? Look, I never needed treasure. My father owns land. Our family is wealthy. I just wanted adventure, not this. Go on without me. I think I need to be alone for a while. Okay. Hmm. Still on mute of this. Uh, letter to Salma. Daughter, I may seem like a doting old fool, but I still don't like this. The world is a more dangerous place than you realize, and hunting for treasure is a fool's life. Tread carefully and keep half an eye on Beam Jar. He should be able to protect you, but do not trust him. Come home as soon as you're tired of the charade. Okay. Uh, well. Hopefully this will lead me to my unique weapon, else I don't have a clue where it is. Because I am aware that there is one. I'm just not quite sure where. Okay. Go on forever, please. So I really want. I'm by overlook. Oh, there's another area. Maybe it's up here, I don't know. Fingers crossed. Hmm. Nope. I see nothing. 
All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick cut, and I'll see you guys once I find it. All right, guys, uh, where it actually was, uh, let me just show you what the actual weapon is, because uh, I don't have um, any footage of it. It's the Steel Battle Axe of Fiery Souls. It's meant to be on the back of the throne um, in that final room. It wasn't there for me, so I ended up uh, reloading the save, and then I managed to pick it up and had to do all that all over again. But, uh, yeah, just to keep in mind, it is on the back of the throne. And that is where we're going to wrap it up for today. So hopefully after I've done a ton of editing, which this episode really needs, um, we should be able to fit this down nicely. Uh, we managed to clear out two locations, which is pretty nice indeed. Meaning we have five locations left that we're going to be doing for Dungeon Quest related ones. Mistwatch, Nilheim, Pilgrim's Trench, Ragnvald and Shear Point. Uh, I should say Pilgrim's Trench, I looked up, is actually just a shipwreck is where a Dungeon Quest was meant to be but is in fact not, but they've put on the USP that, that is a dungeon quest location. We'll be doing it anyway, just because we need to do it eventually anyway, and I've already knotted it down, so might as well. Shear Point also isn't one, but it is one where a dragon priest mask is, so we'll be doing that one as well. And then we'll be heading back to the Dark Brotherhood. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like and unsubscribe, and also be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys in episode 174. Bye, guys.